Oh, fail. So when I think about threats to summer habitat for mule deer, I, I think about two, two main factors. And the first one is more of a historical impact, and that's our, our fire suppression on the landscape that's resulted in dense patches of trees that restricts the, the plant growth that, that deer rely on in the summertime. We've got human pressure, people building roads, people recreating out here, and that, that pushes the deer around and may keep them from getting out into these open areas. If they see a lot of people in the area, they may hide in the, the dense trees where there's less food, and so they, they won't come out here to feed as often. Uh, it can also, to, to some extent, predation, depending on the number of predators that are around. They can go after the fawns and, and even the does, too. Then there's the recreation side of things, which has become more of a recent threat to summer range. And I mean, the numbers are, are quite staggering. In the last five years, we've seen a 60% increase in recreation here on the Deschutes National Forest. We went from 1.9 million visitors to 3.2 million visitors in a year. So that's a lot of people out here. And it's not just one kind of recreation. It's not just mountain biking, it's not just hiking. It's, it's not just bird watching, you know, you, you name it. Every, everybody has an impact. So it, roads play a big part in this. And like, like I mentioned before, we, we want to work to try to minimize the road density in, in the forest and encourage people to stay on trails. That's, that's really important. Just the usual thing, you know, not leave a bunch of garbage. Um, if you've got a dog with you, keep it on a leash. Um, Off-leash dogs cause a lot of stress for a lot of different species of, of wildlife. Predictability is, is really important to wildlife. If an animal knows there's going to be a person here, then they can adjust their, their schedule, so to speak. <laughs> if, if somebody goes off trail and goes exploring, which we all like to do to some extent, then, then that, that kind of throws things in disarray and animals can't predict that there's going to be a, a human looking at them maybe when they, they thought they were hiding.